Hi everyone, welcome to Water Techs with Stewie JP. I'm Stewie and this is the Tier 8 Russian artillery piece, the SU-14-2, commonly known as the Scum Bus. Of course, the Scum Bus being driven today by Ravi18 from Crazy Clan, who's been kind enough to give me two replays featuring the Scum Bus, and we're going to be featuring both of those in this video. Of course, the Scum Bus has got three kinds of ammunition, standard rounds, uh, high explosive, 1850 damage for 102 penetration. You don't get 1850. It's just that's just if it penetrates because it's high explosives. AP rounds, which is what he's got now, 1450 damage for 260 penetration, and the premium rounds, 1850 for 102 penetration. That looks the same, but it's got a much higher burst radius. We're on El Haluf in an encounter battle. Of course, an encounter battle. The mission is to capture the base or destroy all vehicles. And Ravi aiming right in on that Oni, the T7 Japanese heavy tank. And this is going to hurt. Oh! Maybe that's why he loaded AP. He picks up the kill. One shot, one kill, 1,550 hit points of damage. That clearly penetrated and did. 1,450. I think he ammo racked him. And he's waiting for his second load second shell to load that um oh nee, he'll just be going straight he picked up a kill before he died so i guess he'll be pretty happy with that now ravi's on a mission here to cause damage exceeding 10 times the hit points of his vehicles and of course with 410 hit points that's 4100 hit points of damage he picks up another kill taking out the lorraine 40 ton the tier 8 premium French medium tank. Two shots, two kills, 2,850 hit points of damage. And you've got it. You have to be pretty confident. Ten times, that's 4,100 hit points of damage he needs. He's already done 2,850. And the score on 5 6 enemy team are capping. But of course, in the encounter mode, it does take a little bit longer to cap out the base. And this is why artillery is fair and balanced. He's aiming in. On the T25, Pilot 1 just misses him. Gets him for 20 hit points. Better better than missing, I guess, but only just as he waits for his third shell to load. Six all the score now. Ravi's picked up 2,870 damage, of course. Two of those shots were absolutely massive. And the other one, not so massive. Letting his teammates know that he's reloading by pushing the F8 key. And that's what Rev does when he's in a bat chat. Aiming on these tanks here, looks like they, some of them are certainly artillery safe, but now yeah, that Leopard PTA, that's a nice juicy target. He shoots, does he hit? Just gets him for 122. Let's his teammates know again that he's reloading. He's up to just under 3,000 hit points of damage. That's what we've seen. 7-6 the score, 8-6 the score now. As he starts aiming towards the T25 Pilot 1. Not a bad ploy this because he, he's going to pull back he's, if he doesn't pull back he's dead and of course when he pulls back he's not safe from Ravi and his big scum bus artillery the tier 8 Russian as he's willing that willing his gun to reload that T25 pilot one takes a shot takes another shot gets set on fire Ravi shoots gets a gets a little bit of damage takes his damage over 3,000 um, but with the score on 11-7, this is a this is a point in the battle where everyone starts pushing in and trying to take out the last remaining enemy tanks. And I'm not confident that he's going to get this mission. 3,043 damage done. A little bit of assisted damage too from from tracking that tank and that T26E for the Super Pershing. He might as well take the shot, but it's not going. No, he's not going to take the shot. He's going to leave it for the Lorraine, and he's going to aim up to where the STRV S1 or the GW Tiger P, both which haven't been spotted this game, looking for looking for some more damage. He needs another 1,057 damage to get his mission. Oh, I wouldn't be too confident of this. Just hoping something gets lit. There's the ST. There's the premium. The premium Swedish tank. He shoots. There he gets it. 1,000. Thousand, no, 4,043 damage done as he takes a shot from that Super Pershing. The Super per Pershing is now dead, though. And 
that. He just needs one more damaging shot to get his mission. He's on 4,043 damage. His mission is to do 4,100. I don't think he's going to get there. I don't think he's going to load in time. Or is he? He's not that far off. He just misses out. That's a heartbreaker. A very good game, but an absolute heartbreaker in the scum bus. It's a first-class mastery badge. Remember, his mission was to do 10 times the hit points of damage to the enemy tanks. And, of course, the scum bus has got 410 hit points. That's 4,100 hit points you need to do. We got 4,043 hit points of damage. Three kills, 974 experience. Probably just missed out on a ace tanker in that game. Six shots fired. Three direct hits. And, of course, he had those massive kills right at the start of the game, which really helped his damage counter go up. Made a bit of coin, too, with a premium account. The game only went for five minutes. But that was enough for a first class in the magical flying scumbus. As we move on to the second game in this double shot of scumbus action featuring Ravi18 from Crazy Clan. This time is on highway and it's a tier 10 game so he'll be he'll probably be happy in a tier 8 artillery getting a tier 10 game because he's it means there's more damage up for grabs a lot of medium tanks on the enemy side but even more medium tanks on ravi's side he's still on the same mission cause damage exceeding 10 times the hit points of the vehicle and if you get four kills then you get it with honors let's see how he goes in this tier 10 battle on highway enemy got a lot of tier 10 tanks on both sides one T10 heavy tank on the enemy side. Four. Four mediums, four tank destroyers. That's a very interesting lineup. Whereas on Ravi's side, he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven medium tanks and a tank destroyer. And of course, the medium tanks on. What's it called? Highway. The medium tanks on highway can be a very, very big advantage, especially on the western flank which is where they're all all of them except except for the t25 pilot one who thinks he's a tank destroyer and the object 140 who's going for vision no light tanks in this game so you can't criticize the object 140 over on the eastern side trying to go for some vision as ravi lines up the enemy medium tanks he's got standard rounds standard high explosive rounds loaded the object 140 is tracked he gets him for 794 hit points of damage this time he does what he didn't do in the last game and relocates after his shot doesn't have to move a great deal but still aiming at that swarm of medium tanks a lot of enemy medium tanks there not all of them top tier the skoda t50 goes down to the t62a uh, the is7 on the enemy side the only tier 10 heavy tank in this game has gone opted to go the medium route and that is what ravi's aiming at with the scum bus. He just goes unlit. He's lit again now. He's going to shoot. He does. Oh, the I-7 is reversing into it. Another 988 hit points of damage on the tier 10 Russian heavy tank. Moves again, which is exactly the right thing to do. You never know when the enemy artillery is looking your way. And the score's on 3-1. Ravi's already picked up 1449 hit points of damage. Remember, he needs 4,100 for this mission. Aiming at those nice, soft, juicy targets of those medium tanks in his dirty, rotten scum bus. They're no longer lit. Object 140 on the eastern flank. Doing a good job keeping an eye on what might be... on what might be coming. That's an interesting shot. That shot went out of the map, so we won't count that one. And I must have a mouthful of beer while we wait for the long reload of this big Russian artillery. That went down well. Four all the score now. A few of those mediums went down in that little skirmish. T62A and the object 140 at A1. Keeping an eye on that T62A on the enemy side. Ravi's got his eyes firmly at the Jagpanzer E100, not known for its speed. He shoots. Oh, we definitely hit him, but we don't know how much damage it did to the big tier 10 German tank destroyer. Of course, it has got a fair bit of armor. It might have bounced the entire shot. We never know. So far, he's on 1449 damage. That we've seen him do. And relocating again, again, which is the right thing to do. 
very interesting tactics from the team on Ravi's team. Opting not to go for this city at all. Has a quick look at the VK4502A. But sides against him is just about loaded. And that E4 is a little bit out in the open. He lets his teammates know that he's going to attack him by hitting the T key. He's only on 469 health. This should be a kill shot if it lands. Just misses the tier 10 American turreted tank destroyer. Five all the score now. Doesn't quite get the kill on the T-11 OE for that T-25 Pilot 1. He'll be feeling pretty shitty about that. The OHO presents itself as a pretty big target in the southern side. The Object 140 is retreated back to base now. But he's still keeping the tier 8 Japanese heavy tank lit. He's letting his teammates know by hitting the T key who he's attacking. But the ISU-152 picks up the kill on the Japanese heavy tank. So he's aiming back at that T-62A. He's only on 319 hit points. Changes his mind. Going for the STRV, the Stritzwagen, on 1800. That's a nice, juicy target. He backs up. He's no longer lit. E3 clearly got six cents. He's backing right up. So... Ravi doing the right thing here, aiming at the big, heavily armoured tank destroyer. No idea, didn't directly hit him, but he could have hit him. He could have got splash damage. He could have, like he could have just landed his shell right next to the T11 OE3 camping back at the base. A lot of camping going on this game. A lot of mediums still on Ravi's side. They've still got plenty of medium tanks. The enemy T62A. Picks up the kill on Ravi's team's T62A. If the Object 140 gets revenge and that sort of um, that sort of clears this A1 area out. But Object 140, this Batcher, providing great vision up to there. And he'll be picking up a heap of spotting damage. I'll be interested to see after the game how much spotting damage that Batcher 25T does. And that's what he's doing back there. Ravi aiming in on the camping enemy tank destroyers. The Jagpanzer E100, the Stritzwagen 103 and the E3 all got plenty of juicy damage. Opting not to shoot for the E3, he's going to go for the Jagpanther instead by the looks of it. He zooms right in. We can't see him. He's no longer lit. Is he going to shoot? Waste of a shell. Is it a waste of a shell? Getting rid of the low health T11 OE3. I don't know. The Bat Chat doing a good job spotting there. Object 140 going back up to the A1 line. And Ravi aiming in, looking for these tank destroyers. And there's the Stritzwagen on 1800 health. What can he do here? Ha <laughs> ha 1753 damage into... <laughs> That's terrible. Artie's fair and balanced 1,700 hit points into the tier 10 Swedish tank destroyer from VPA. He would be as shitty as a hat full of arseholes after copying that. He was on full health and now he's down to just a handful of hit points as Ravi aims in at the Jagpanzer E100. Let's his teammate know he's got 8 seconds to reload and he's aiming at him. He's already backed right up to the red line. That's 385 hit points up for grabs and he takes it for his first kill of the game. 13 7's the score. 3,587 damage done that we've seen and that shot on the Stritzwagen was absolutely heartbreaking. But don't forget, he did put one shell into that Jagpanzer E100 some time ago as the Leopard PTA kills the poor bloke from VPA. And look, you've got to be happy with that game. He only got one kill, but Ravi18 from Crazy Clan managed to pick himself up an ace tanker mastery badge in that game because it was a tier 10 battle. So you get the bonus of being a tier 8 um, tank in a tier 10 game. You get a bonus to your experience and all that kind of crap. And that's what makes mastery badges happen. He also got a bruiser for crew module and that Gauze medal tells me that there's a very, very, very good chance that he picked up his mission, which was to do 10 times his hit points in damage. And of course he did. 410 hit points on the SU-142 and he did 500, 5,087 hit points of damage. And he'll be well on his way to his Object 260 or whatever tank he's going for in the missions. One kill, 13, 28 base experience, 747 
Damage upon detecting assisted damage. That, that would have been through tracking enemy tanks. And not a bad result at all. Made a bit of coin too. Did wasn't firing premium ammunition when I was grinding my scum bus. And I admit it, I unlocked the uh, Object 261 not too long ago. So I can admit freely that the um, T10 Arty is soon to join my garage. But I used to I used to fire all gold and missions just used to appear randomly. But an ace tanker and a gauze medal. That's absolutely massive. So thanks for the replays, Ravi. Thanks for watching, everyone. The double shot of action, the SU-142, the Tier 8 Russian artillery with that derpy derp gun. It can blow people to smithereens. Thanks for watching. Take care and see you all next time.